A Course in Miracles, Volume 2, Workbook for Students, Lesson 14. God did not create a meaningless world. The idea for today is, of course, the reason why a meaningless world is impossible. What God did not create does not exist. And everything that does exist, exists as he created it. The world you see has nothing to do with reality. It is of your own making and it does not exist. The exercises for today are to be practiced with your eyes closed throughout. The mind searching period should be short, a minute most. Do not have more than three practice periods with today's idea unless you find them comfortable. If you do, it will be because you really understand what they are for. The idea for today is another step in learning to let go the thoughts which you have written on the world and see the word of God in their place. The early steps in this exchange, which can truly be called salvation, can be quite difficult and even quite painful. Some of them will lead you directly into fear. You will not be left there. We will go far beyond it. Our direction is toward perfect safety and perfect peace. With your eyes closed, Think of all the horrors in the world that cross your mind. Name each one as it occurs to you and then deny its reality. God did not create it and so it is not real. Say, for example, God did not create that war in blank and so it is not real. God did not create that airplane crash in blank and so it is not real. God did not create that disaster, specify, in blank, and so it is not real. God did not create that illness, specify, in, name of person, and so it is not real. Suitable subjects for the application of today's idea also include anything you are afraid might happen to you or to anyone about whom you are concerned. In each case, name the disaster quite specifically. Do not use general terms. For example, do not say God did not create illness, but God did not create cancer or heart attacks or whatever may arouse fear in you. This is your personal repertory of horrors at which you are looking. These things are part of the world you see. Some of them are shared illusions and others are part of your personal hell. It does not matter. What God did not create can only be in your mind apart from his. Therefore, it has no meaning. In recognition of this fact, conclude the practice periods by repeating today's idea. God did not create a meaningless world. Today's idea can, of course, be applied to anything that disturbs you during the day. Aside from the practice periods, be very specific in applying it. Say, God did not create a meaningless world. He did not create this blank, specify the situation which is disturbing you, and so it is not real. God did not create a meaningless world. God did not create a meaningless world. God did not create a meaningless world. This is probably one of those lessons that I, I really, really struggle with and battle with because when you tell somebody that their cancer or that the war in Ukraine and the people dying and the people suffering, when you tell them that God did not create that and therefore it is not real and somebody turns around and says, well, I lost my family in that war, you telling me that that's not real, that I did not suffer that loss. It is a very difficult lesson to get my head around. And so I don't intellectualize it. What I get out of it is God did not create a meaningless world. What I get out of it is God did not create that war in Ukraine. But what I get out of it is if God did not create it, we did. We created it. We created the hell that we live in. So people say, well, if there is a God, 
then we wouldn't suffer. We don't suffer because of God. We suffer because we think we are separated from God. It is a very difficult practice to do. Just stop if you are uncomfortable. But the real lesson here is God did not create a meaningless world. God did not create the cancer. God did not create the war. God did not create a bankruptcy. God did not create economic distress. God did not create the pollution. God did not create climate change. All these things, all these things, and I, and I don't add one as weightier than any other. So just in your practice periods today, just sit quietly and just, if, if you find it really too difficult to say the specifics, like God did not create that war in blank, therefore it is not real. If you find that really difficult because your mind says, but of course it is, look at the people dying. We have the, the numbers, look at all of this atrocity. Just go back to God did not create a meaningless world. We did by our thoughts alone. So just rest in this and I will see you tomorrow for lesson 15.